Okay, today we are going to start lesson two, family, in Chinese. How do you pronounce it? Jia Ting, Jia Ting, right? So look at this character. Jia, Jia. Can you tell there are two parts in this character? The tall part looks like a roof, right? Mm -hmm. And the bottom part actually means pig. <laughs> so the pig and the roof means he got a home. So jia here can mean either home, the physical place where you live, or the family. Are you with me? Okay. So how do we say my home? Jia. Excellent. Your <coughs> home. Ni jia. Excellent. Wang Peng's home. Wang Peng jia. Okay, Miss Lee's home. Li Xiao Jie. Jia. Excellent. Excellent. How about family people? Family member. Jia. Excellent. Jia. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So, this is my family. Actually, the top part suggests the meaning. This part, stand alone as a character, also means dad, father. Okay, and the bottom part, when a stand alone, it means uh, it's pronounced as ba, so it suggests sound. Suggests sound, suggests meaning. Okay, ba ba. Can you read of me? Ba ba. Ba ba. Very good. Now look at this one. The left part, what does it mean? Female. Female, right? And the right part, red is ma, suggest the sound. Be with me? Okay. Mama. 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 Okay. Mama. This here means this. This. <coughs> So this is a demonstrative pronoun that uh, we use to refer to something or somebody close to you. You with me? Okay. 请问这是谁? Mama. Okay, so how do you answer that question? This is Wang Yes, that's right. Okay. 这是王老师的妈妈,是吗? <coughs> Teacher Wang's mother, right? Okay, so here we have the used as a particle to indicate a possessive relationship. <coughs> a possessive relationship. Wang Lao Shi is the possessor. Okay? Mama is possessed. Are you with me? Okay, let's look at the other example. The teacher's name. Lao Shi the means right? Okay, what about this? Miss Wang student. Wang Xiao Jie the Okay, uh, please think about the question. How many ways do we have in English for the possessive relationship? This is one way, right? Teacher's name. Mm -hmm. Do we have the other way? 
Can we say the name of teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. So in English, we have two ways, right? But in Chinese, we have only one. We have to put the possessor before the particle the possessed the following. Are you with me? <clears throat> okay, so look at this example. Mr. Lee's teacher or the teacher of Mr. Lee, which is the right way to say it in Chinese? Which should be put first? Mr. Lee. So what is Mr. Lee? Li Xian Sheng particle. The, 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 the and teacher. Lao Shi. Excellent. Li Xian Sheng the Lao Shi. Right? Okay. Uh, let's have another try. What is Teacher Wang's family people? Teacher Wang's family people. Wang, Wang Lao Shi. The family people. Jiaren. Excellent. Wang Lao Shi the Jiaren, right? Wang Lao Shi possessor, possessed. Okay, another one. Miss Lee's husband. Miss Lee's husband. So who is the possessor? Miss Lee. Lee. How do I say Miss Lee? Li Xiao Jie. Particle. The. Okay, husband? Very good. Xian Shen can mean either Mr. Husband or Teacher, right? Li Xiao Jie the Xian Sheng. Very good. And next one, Mom's friend. Mom's friend. Who is a possessor? Mom. Mom in Chinese. Mom. Mama. The friend. What is friend? Peng yo. Yes, mama the peng yo, right? Peng yo. Okay, what does what does peng yo the mama mean? Friend's mother. Friend's mother. See, the order really matters here, right? Okay, if you put the wrong order, then we got the wrong meaning. Okay, so please remember, possessor always go before particle. Okay, and next one. Father's student. Father's student. Papa ba the xuesheng. Excellent. Papa the xuesheng. How do we say student's father? Xuesheng the papa. Very, very good. Okay. And in some situations, we may omit the particle the, like here. This is the possessor is a personal pronoun. Do you know personal pronoun? Like I, you, he, she, okay? And mama here is a kingship term. So in colloquial speech, when the possessor is a personal pronoun and the possessed is kingship term, we can omit the. So ni the mama, we can also say ni mama. Are you with me? So how do we say? My father. My father. What? Papa. Or Papa. Are you with me? Can you say either one? Like, is it acceptable? Either one. Either, either one. one. But this is quite informal. Papa. In colloquial speech. Okay. Okay. So let's read this part together. Wang Lao Shi de Jia Ren. Wang Lao Shi de Jia Ren. Li Xiao Jie de Xian Sheng. Mama de Peng Yu. Papa de Xue Sheng. Ni de Mama. Ni Mama. Wo de Papa. My family people are in this picture, right? And look at the first character, Zhao. Can you find on the bottom there are two? There are four dots here. Okay, actually, 
If it's on the left, that would be written like this. Are you familiar with this radical? This, yes, exactly. This is fire. This is fire. So this character alone means illumination. And this part, or when it's on the bottom, written like this, also means fire. So what's the relationship between fire and illumination? Fire has light, produce light, right? So it suggests the meaning. And the second character, pin, usually means slight, something very thin, very flat. Are you with me? Okay, so zhao pian means picture. Okay, would you like to read me? Zhao pian. Zhao pian. Zhao pian. Zhao pian. Zhao pian. Okay, one question. Can can we say Can we omit the here? No. Why? Because even though 我 is personal pronoun, but 照片 is not kingship term. Are you with me? So you cannot say 我照片, okay? So how do we say Wang Peng's picture? Wang Peng How do I say Miss Lee's picture? Very good. Teacher Wang's father? Wang Lao Shi the Baba. Here means that. So both zhe and na are demonstrative pronoun, but na we use it to refer to something that is not so close to you. That. Are you with me? Can you read me? Na. 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 Na shi shi. Na shi shi. Na shi shi. Na shi shi. Na shi wo ma ma. 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 Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni jiao shi ma ming zi. Wo jiao ai. Mili. Okay. Qi wen. 这是爱小姐,是吗?是。这是爱米莉,是吗?是。这是谁?这是谁?这是爱米莉。Excellent, very good, very good. 你好。你好。请问你叫什么名字? 我叫杰西卡。杰西卡，请问这是杰小姐是吗？是，这是杰西卡是吗？是，这是谁？这是杰西卡。Excellent, very good. 你好。你好。请问你叫什么名字？我叫亚历山杰。亚历山杰。请问那是亚小姐是吗? 是。那是亚里山爵是吗? 是。那是谁? 那是亚里山爵。亚里山爵。Are you with me? OK, great. Uh, 你好。你好。请问你叫什么名字？我叫鲁刚。啊，鲁刚，鲁刚。OK。啊，请问这是谁？这是这是鲁刚。请问这是你的照片吗？ 请问这是你的照片吗？是是。OK，请问那是你的照片吗？是。Okay, 
是，是，呃，请问，这是你爸爸吗？是，那是你妈妈吗？不，不是。谢谢。<laughs> okay, so do you have your picture with you? Okay. <laughs> Good. Um. Well, just now, just now, did you notice that I asked several questions, like, 那是谁 right? 你叫什么名字？这是谁的照片？这是谁的照片 ？Look at these three questions. Can you find the question word in these questions? The highlighted question word there. Okay. Where are they in the sentence? What's the position? Can we say it's just at the beginning or at the in the middle at the end? Do they have fixed the position? No. So it are they just randomly there? Look at the answer. If I provide the answer there, so the question word we can find a rule here. The question word is at the same position of the answer. Are you with me? Okay. Very good. Let's read this part together. 那是谁？那是谁？那是谁？那是谁？那是王老师。那是王老师。那是王老师。这是谁的照片？这是谁的照片？照片。照片。谁的照片？谁的照片？这是谁的照片？这是谁的照片？这是我的照片。这是我的照片。你叫什么名字？你叫什么名字？我叫王林。我叫王林。Okay, in Chinese sentence, question word will be the same position with the answer, right? What's in English? What about in English? The question word always at the start of the question. That's the difference. Okay. So now, time for a repair work. Because I'm the only child of my family, so I just know Baba, Mama, that will cover my case, okay? But I know you might be in different situations. So how do I say elder sister? Jie. Have you seen this character before? Yes. Where? Xiao Jie. Xiao Jie. Jie Jie here means older sister, okay? And what about younger sister? May 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 May. So can you find both of these two characters have the left part of what? Female. 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 Very good. And older brother? Good. Good. Yes, the tone. Good. And younger brother? D D D D. Okay. Ah,、uh, some of you may have some. So how do we say some? Er, 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 tone. What's the tone of the first character? Ers, ers. Okay, daughter. Nier, nier. Okay. Um, please let me know if you want to know the other terms. Okay. So now, working pairs talk about their picture. Okay. <laughs>